Okay, pals, we back. Joey B is back with a new plane because I am developing a problem with buying things that fly in the air. The problem has existed for a long time, but now it's manifesting as planes. Um, so I got a new plane. I upped the ante a little bit and I bought, well, it's a, it's almost certainly a similar quality plane. It is a Hobby Zone, uh, uh, well, hold on here, Sport Cub, Sport Cub S2. So it's now a four channel plane. I have control with, um, oh my gosh, ailerons, elevators, the rudder, and the throttle. So this is great news so far. It seems to be working great. I, I already modified the electronics, classic. Um, I replaced the um, power input on there because it was one of those things where like the company most definitely put a janky weird style power input so you could only use their batteries. And I was like, nah. So I just put my own on there. Okay, let's fly it. It's a little bit chilly out today, which is too bad. It's definitely getting cold here in Nashville. Um, the controller is um, a tiny little controller here, but seems to work. It's got a button for binding. It's got a couple of different channels that you can switch to. Um, yeah, so let's give it a shot. Okay, so plugging the plane in to turn it on. The other thing to know about this plane is that the wheels, I mean, everything is just a lot better with this already. So the price jump was, I believe, about $100. I think I spent $150 on this, or maybe maybe like $140 something. Um, the foam is seems like better quality. It's a much smoother foam. Um, it's four channel instead of three channel. Uh, I don't know if the controller is the same quality. It seems like maybe lesser quality than the last one, but yeah, it's the same kind of thing. We've got these gyros on board for stabilization, and ideally we shouldn't get that harmonic interaction thing that we had with the other plane. <laughs> The other thing um, that was really giving us trouble last time too is the propeller wasn't balanced very well. And this seems to be much better here. <laughs> In fact, I'm not really moving at all. This is quite interesting. It's, it's pretty much just stationary and if I cut the throttle enough... Yeah, okay, so I kind of have to dial the throttle into which way the wind is facing. Okay, this is surprisingly hard. I think I might have to come back at sunset and try it again. So there are a couple of different modes here, depending on how you want to fly. I believe this is probably the easiest mode where it mixes together your rudder and your ailerons. And then elevator is separate, um, seems like. And then it's also got stabilization on it. So I think this should be the easiest mode to fly in. Yeah, pretty smooth. The, uh, the trim on my elevators seems a little off too, so I might want to bend one of those push rods. Here we go. Don't come out of the sky. Yeah, I pretty much have to give it a bunch of up elevator the whole time because um, it really just, it's generating a ton of lift on those wings. Um, I could also probably just add a heavier battery to it and that would likely work. And then the other great thing too, I know I'm just talking a lot and flying, hopefully you can see it on the camera, so far, it seems like the other great thing is that there's plenty of power for the scale that this is. This is without uh, any power here. And you can just see in the wind, like I'm not, it's just floating. Okay, so another thing to learn here, when the craft starts to run out of battery and when you throttle all the way up, it doesn't like that. And it lets you know by pulsing the propeller. <laughs> Now, if I throttle back, when I throttle back, it's fine. So I think we're probably running out of battery. That's just, I haven't read the instructions because I'm an engineer and I have taken an oath to never read the instructions. But um, yeah, I think that's probably just low battery. Let's put another one in and try again. Okay, I have switched batteries now and I have a theory that this will go a little bit smoother. The batteries it comes with are these little tiny, what is it, like 150 milliamp hours. This one's 180, but they're 3.7 volt LiPos, just one cell. 
This one is also one cell, but it is now uh, 700 milliamp hours. So you can see it's not built to fit on this plane, but <laughs> rubber bands help that become a reality. Okay, so let's give this a shot. It should lower, it should increase the weight on the nose. We should get a little less like natural lift, I think, um, or at least natural like net lift. So let's just give this a shot and see how it goes. It's pretty, it's pretty fun to fly in the wind. You can pretty much just like take advantage of whatever direction you want to go. So I'm going to fly into it a little bit and then come on back. All right, so the, the Joey B review is that this is a great purchase. I'm glad I replaced the old one with this. The old plane too, I mean, so I don't know how many grams this is. I can't imagine it's more than like 150 or something. Um, oof, nice. Yep, yeah, there it is. That's what I wanted. I have plenty of control now. And it still gets tossed around pretty bad in the wind. I'm gonna need to uh, strap an FPV camera on here. I read a review on Amazon. You can check this out if you want. I read a review on Amazon that seemed to indicate that if you wanted to put an FP FPV camera on this, um, there was an existing channel for it. I'm not sure if that's true. But I already have the transmission stuff for doing it with rockets. So I might be able to put some FPV gear on here. Although I think it's probably hard to fly a FPV craft with something that gets tossed around this much. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I wish I had a little more turning authority though. I've come pretty close to a tree a couple of times. caught it but I landed on the, the uh, pavement over there oh I can nice all right so the wheels are better quality on this too which means you can take off from pavement that was really hard to do with the other one I'm crabbing in Bam, landed. All right, that's all. I have a bunch of work to get done today and I really need to get back to it. But this showed up in the mail and I was like, I have no choice but to try this. Thanks again for watching. I don't know, really loving these like silly little plane videos. So as long as it doesn't take too much time out of actual work, I'm gonna keep doing them. Thanks for watching, talk to you soon, bye.